Hello and welcome. My name is Brian Ream. I'm a senior technical content developer here at Udacity, and today we're going to talk all about Pandas. Pandas is one of the most powerful and widely used libraries in Python for data analysis and manipulation. Whether you're working with large data sets, performing calculations, or transforming messy data into structured formats, Pandas is an essential tool in your Python toolkit. Pandas is built on top of NumPy and provides two basic data structures. First, series, which is a one-dimensional labeled array, and second, data frames. These are two-dimensional labeled data structures. The data frames are kind of similar to spreadsheets or SQL tables, and they make it easy to work with structured data. Before we get started, here are a couple of quick beginner tips to help you as you explore pandas. First, you always start with import pandas as pd. Second, use .head to preview the first few rows of your data set. Now, this is really important because it'll help you avoid large data loads as you first begin to explore what's in your data set. Third, use .info. This will provide column names, data types, and give you counts of how many non-null values are in each column. And finally, use the dot describe. This will give you basic mathematical information about the data that you have, including count, mean, standard deviation, and other helpful mathematical information. Now that we have an overview and a few quick tips, let's jump into a hands-on demo where we'll learn how to access the data using data frames and perform a few basic operations with pandas in Python. I'll see you inside. All right, so now let's take a look at how pandas actually functions. So we start by importing our pandas library. And we're going to import it as pd. So that's just what we're going to type in now to call that pandas library. So we'll run that. And let's imagine that we work as data analysts at some sort of retail company. We've got a data set. It's got some basic employee details. And we're going to analyze some trends on that data, do some basic functions in pandas or using pandas. So let's grab some data. And I'm just going to put some data in here for this demo. So we'll go ahead and run that. And now let's call up a pandas data frame. So we're going to call it df. And we're going to say pd, which just calls up our pandas library. I'm going to say data frame. And we want to take a look at our data. And then let's go ahead and print this out as well. So we'll give it a title. So we'll just say this is employee data set. And then we're going to print our data frame, which we defined right here. So you can see here that this data frame calls up this data, which is all of this here, and prints it out with a nice header. That's one of the first things that you would do uh, with pandas to start to explore some data. Now let's take a look at some basic operations. Let's say that we want to select some specific columns. So what we could do is we could print, again, a title. Let's call it just employee names. And then let's say that we want to look at a single column. We could say print, again, call our data frame. But now let's say that we only want to look at name column. So we'll just do that. And we'll print. And you can see here that now it only calls up our name column. It didn't call up age or city or salary. We could also look at things like filtering. Let's say that we are interested in filtering and we only want to look at employees that are older than 30. So we could say employees older than 30 as our title. And then let's take a look at how we would do that. So we're going to print the data frame again, but now we're going to introduce some logic and we're going to say data frame age. So we're looking at the age column and if it's over 30 is the criteria for printing. So you can see here that now it filters out and it doesn't print out Alice here. It only prints out those that are over 30. So it also doesn't print out Bob because Bob is 30. So only over 30. And you can see here, this is a logic data frame, age column over 30. So now we can do some things like basic filtering. We could also add or remove columns, which is another thing that we would do. So let's say that we want to introduce a bonus column. So we could just call this column bonus. And let's take a look at our data frame and we're going to say salary. 
times 0 0.1. And then let's print that out. So what this is going to do, this is going to create a bonus column, and the bonus column is going to be created from salary times 0.1. Okay, and then we'll just print out our data frame. So now you can see that we've introduced a bonus column here, and we can also remove columns in the same way. So we come up here and we could say data frame, data frame drop columns is equal to bonus. And then we'll just print that out. And I won't put a header on this one or a title. We'll just print it out, and you can see that that column now goes away. So this is just a couple of very quick things that you can do with Pandas to start to manipulate and work with your data. Of course, there are much more complicated and advanced things that you can do, but understanding a few of these base commands can help you to get in and actually start to work with your data and play around with Pandas. All right, we've covered a lot today. Here's some final tips to enhance your Pandas skills. First, practice regularly. Work on real data sets, such as those from Kaggle or other public repositories. Second, use the Pandas documentation. The official Pandas documentation is a fantastic resource to look up specific commands. Third, combine Pandas with visualizations. Try integrating Pandas with Matplotlib and Seaborn to get some insightful charts. Fourth, don't forget about optimizing performance. Use commands like .astype to convert data types for memory efficiency. And finally, fifth, experiment, modify, filter, transform data sets. You have to play around with pandas in order to become comfortable with all of the different functions. Lastly, if you like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Oh, and don't forget to smash that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our content. Thanks for joining this lesson. Keep practicing, and soon you'll be using pandas like a pro.